become what you think you are so let's use it to our advantage i got this from as a man thinketh by james allen and this book has completely changed my life but i want to change your life too as well so understand everything that you think in your mind is what you will be if you think negative thoughts, you'll be negative. If you think positive thoughts, you'll become positive, right? So let's start off real fast. The book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 proclaims, As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This adage reaches out to every condition in every circumstances of human endeavor. Each of us is literally what we think, our character being the complete sum of our thoughts. So when I go around my way and I see people with shrugged shoulders who are walking very unconfidently who look at me in their eyes and then they look away immediately i can tell he's not in the best of mood or that person's not in the best of mood and they might be depressed or something you can just tell by off their body language when you see me you see me with my head on high my chest on my shoulders back no matter what even if i'm sad mad angry depressed whatever is going on i am still patrick so i'll walk with my head out high my chest up to my shoulders back how you use this to your advantage is exactly by doing this we think normally negative thoughts in our mind and a lot of our negative thoughts actually stand out more than our positive thoughts because our positive thoughts we don't really think about them or you know what i'm saying when you're at a higher vibration you're, and you're flowing higher you're not really thinking about your positive thoughts you're just happy you're jolly you're doing whatever you're doing you're happy around your way but when the negative thoughts come into your mind like hit with the stress you're then sad you're then feeling sorrow you're then feeling depressed you're then feeling anxiety you're then feeling insecure about yourself the remedy to that is literally thinking a different thought thinking a more uplifting positive thought while still acknowledging that you're feeling a different certain type of way you then reframe it and say now nah, i want to think higher and think greater of myself this is how you can use this to your advantage so even when you are chilling even when you're not doing anything in your life you have to think a positive thought in order for you to feel better about yourself even if you're in the more depressed manner you basically just have to say to yourself affirmations in your mind and your mind will pick up on that and using emotions to your advantage while smiling while saying these things or laughing or just feeling uplifted you can then change how you're feeling about yourself you become what you say you are so use it to your advantage if i say i am depressed i will feel depressed if i say i am strong i am powerful i am great and you're thinking this in your mind and you can also say it out loud as an affirmation but if your mind is consistently thinking this you are reframing your mind to go attack the world in a more positive uplifted way you are more confident you are more stronger. This is how you develop this. And once you take the action within that, if you say I'm confident, how does a confident person act? How does a confident person talk? How does a confident confident person walk, right? A lot of people say that I have like this model type walk. I've been hearing this ever since I walk with my head all high, my chest up and my shoulders back. Ever since I've done this and I learned about this information when I was like 17, to walk as if you're a confident man, to walk like you're a model in a way. People tell me that. It's crazy. I think I'm walking like a model People told me that I walk like a model or have this model walk or I look like a model and I should be on the runway. This shows certainty within your body language that you are confident. That means I am a confident man. If I see a dude who's walking with his head held high, his chest up, his shoulders back, he's confident. He's sure of himself. He's on the right way and the right path of being great. So I can analyze that almost instantly. How you use this to your advantage is by whenever you're feeling sad, whenever you're feeling depressed, whenever you're feeling not of you, if you're not feeling you, because I want you to understand your positive thoughts, when you are feeling confident, when you're feeling great, that's you. That's you. All those other emotions when you're sad, depressed, and negative, and angry about yourself, that is not you. You are only your positive thoughts, and that is how I triggered my mind to understand this. In order to use this to your advantage, just think happier thoughts. Think greater thoughts, because once you start to think it and you keep consistently thinking these, your mind will alter and shift. And whatever you start to think is what you start to believe. So I want you to understand this thoroughly. After the first time doing this when you're sad or you're depressed and you're not in the best mood, you might still feel sad or whatever, but you have to keep going. You have to keep conquering your mind. You have to keep controlling it. And once you are able and conscious enough to trigger your mind, you can almost change it as an instant. You just have to keep practicing. Whenever you're not feeling yourself, just say, nah, that's not me. I'm great and I'm strong. I am powerful. Think this in your mind. And over time, your mind will start to alter and shift into those emotions of, yeah, I am great. I am strong. I am confident. I am powerful. This is what will uplift you as a human. Another way that I want to explain this as well is the author in the book, the author talks about illnesses that we give upon ourselves by believing that we are sick or believing that we're injured when we're not really injured. We're just giving that thought more power. So as we are like maybe got a little cold, you'll say that you're sick and you're throwing up or you're feeling really cold or, you know what I'm saying, you got the flu or some shit. You're giving it power so it's going to rise and become stronger. You're going to be more sick, literally. I promise you this. Check this out. I had this one friend where 
he had like the nicest curly hair around the school and we were like sophomores at this time and all the girls loved his hair and everyone was like yo what products do you use and everything like that but he just naturally had nice curly hair he used to leave his house with his hair damped as hell like i'm talking about it, it's like he just got out of the shower and just went outside type shit and, and this would happen in the winter i want you to understand this but when i was raised and my mom told me as i was programmed and conditioned to believe this thought my mom used to tell me Never leave the house with your hair wet because you will get sick. You will catch pneumonia. You'll get sick. And I remember trying to tell my friend this. And I'm living in this fear that I would never leave the house without my hair, you know what I'm saying, being somewhat dried. And you know what I'm saying, because I didn't want to get sick because that's what my mom told me. But this is feeding an illness that doesn't make sense because if, you're, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. You're not going to think about it. You're not going to feel it. But bro would leave his house with his hair completely wet and damped out every single day. And it'll be in the middle of winter where it's cold as hell. His hair is still wet as shit. I used to tell him like, yo, bro, go get a towel and, you know what I'm saying, dry your hair up so that you don't get sick. And he'd be like, nah, fuck what you talking about. Like straight up, he'd be like, nah, fuck what you talking about. And every single time he did this, I'd never seen him sick. Every single time I'd never seen him sick. But if I were to do that, I remember getting sick and thinking of, oh, I should have listened to what my mom said and shit like that. I gave myself that illness. You see what I'm saying? And another way that this just happened the other day. And I'm not saying that you become Superman, but if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. You're not going to think that thought. Or if it's a lower thought, you're not going to think it. And my, my boy that I'm talking about, he has that natural superpower where, where if it wasn't an uplifting belief or whatever it is, he wouldn't believe it. It wouldn't go into his mind. If I told him, like, I swear to God, and you, I swear on my soul, I love bro with everything in my heart. And he is delusional, but it's okay to live in delusion. I want you to understand this. If I told him, yo, Mike Tyson coming right here to fight you, and he gonna whoop your ass, he'd be like, bro, speak for yourself, bro. Speak for yourself. Uh, he not whooping shit. Like, I swear to God, promise, I'm looking in his eyes, he's dead ass serious. And he always had that natural superpower that I realized that whatever negative thought came to him, it was never, it was in one ear out the other. He did not acknowledge any of those thoughts. I swear to God. I would tell him, like, yo, my uh, Floyd Mayweather will whoop your ass. He will be like, nah, speak for yourself, bro. I don't know what you talk about. <laughs> like, he wouldn't ever see himself in a losing position. And that is beautiful. And also delusional, but that is still beautiful. But another way that I could tell you how you can alter your mind to get away out of illnesses and how you feel and how to use it to your advantage is this way, I promise you. This just happened the other day and I'm hooping with my boys and I'm giving my boys some work. I'm hitting them with a, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm hitting them with a crossover. I snatch back and I shoot a three. And as I jump in the air, I jump wrong or some shit and I landed on my foot. I landed on my ankle on the way and it twisted. And instantly I had pain. I was like, fuck, yo, hold on, bro. Watch out, hold on. And I go to the, to the bench over there and I walk towards the bench, I'm hobbling, but I'm in pain. Like, I'm like, yo, this fucking hurts. You know what I'm saying? For any hooper who hooped before, you know them ankle pains, bro. That ankle injuries hurt. And I'm over here breathing hard and shit. But as I sat down real fast, I'm like, nah, I don't feel that shit. I'm strong. I don't believe none of that shit. I swear on my soul, I could not make this up. As I get up and I walk to go get some water, pain was, it wasn't there. I didn't feel the pain because if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. I'm not feeling that shit no more. I said in my mind, I'm strong. I'm not feeling that. I forgot exactly what I said, but in my mind, I'm thinking like, nah, I don't believe in that. I'm strong. I'm good. I'm healed. I went back and started to hoop again and we played three more games and everything like that, but I wasn't at hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? I'm still feeling somewhat pain, but that excruciating pain where you're feeling like, holy shit, this hurts so much. I didn't give it power. I stopped giving it power at an instant. I said, nah, I don't feel that shit. I'm, I'm way stronger than that. Instead of giving it pain and feeling an agony of like, nah, damn, this hurts. I can't play. I said, nah, fuck all that. And I continued to play three more games and we won all three. And I still was getting buckets, but I was playing at like 50 or 60%. That is how strong and powerful your mind is. You might not believe me. I swear to you. But that is the power of your mind. You have to use it in your advantage. Use it so that when you're feeling bad, say, nah, I don't feel that no more. I'm great. I'm strong. I am powerful. You use these affirmations in your mind. And over time of doing this, you will become what you're thinking. You'll become confident. You'll become stronger. You'll become greater. You'll become more outgoing. Whatever it is that you want to feel, think about it and take the actions and the steps to get towards where you want to be. Literally, you'll become that. And it, it, it comes quick. It really will. That pain that I felt, and I'm not lying to you about this story. It was just the other day. I wasn't playing at 100%. I still felt somewhat pain. But the pain that I felt like I didn't want to play, I was about to go home. I was like, nah, fuck all that. I don't feel that shit no more. And I walked it off, basically. And I went and kept hooping. You know what I'm saying? But normally, I always get this ankle pain and I stop pooping. I'm like, nah, fuck that. But I just shook it off. I said, no, nah, I'm not feeling that shit. I'm strong. And that's that. And I kept hooping. I swear to you. And I'm not saying that you're going to fucking 
not feel your ACL touring or tearing up or some shit, but if you give it more power, it will feel worse. You will feel more hurt in that, that aspect of, oh, I tore my ACL. Whereas if you're like, nah, I'm going to be healed in a certain amount of time, over time, your body and mind starts to compromise with each other and they go together and you will be healed way quicker. I swear to you. That is something that a lot of people don't know. So use this shit to your advantage. When you're feeling lowly, you're not feeling the best of yourself. Use it to your advantage. Switch your mindset. Switch what you're thinking. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I am great. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I am one of the ones. I'm one of the greatest human beings to walk this earth. Use it to your advantage. This will make you truly strong and powerful. This will get you out of the ruts instantly because a rut is just something that you're thinking in your mind once you change that thought and that emotion towards that thought you can change your mood instantly i'm telling you guys bro you become what you say you are so use it to your advantage use this throughout your day even when you're feeling good about yourself yeah i am great i am strong i am powerful use it to your mind your mind over time after putting reps into the gym you will get stronger in the gym right so your mind will become more stronger that at an instant when i felt that pain and i sat down i said nah my mind was literally triggered nah i don't feel pain none of that i'm not i'm strong i'm strong enough i don't feel that shit and that pain slowly went away like within i'm telling you like 10 seconds i'm not even gonna lie the the pain has been reduced i still felt it and right now i don't feel a certain type of way or pain but i feel as if i'm almost healed literally off of like that angle like a like it was like a slight ankle you know what i'm saying like an ankle uh what's it called like when you turn it or some shit you know what i'm saying i didn't sprain it or anything but if you give that pain more power where you're like man i'm hurt i can't play i can't move i can't do this you're giving that shit power when you say nah i don't feel that shit i'm strong i'm powerful your mind alters and your mind is strong and then hardens and becomes callous. So you start to move in that way where it's like, yeah, I could shake it off. I could walk it off. I swear and I promise you, I'm not lying to you about the shit I'm talking about. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. This adage reads out to every condition and circumstance of a human endeavor. Each of us is literally what we think. Our character completes the sum of our thoughts. So don't think negative thoughts. Don't think that. That is not you. Understand that those negative thoughts aren't you. You'll be able to switch your mood no matter how bad you are feeling or how depressed or how negative you're feeling. You'll be able to switch it with more positive thoughts, more uplifting thoughts. Use those affirmations in your mind and even say them out loud if you need to. And you'll be able to switch your mood at an instant. So I love y'all, bro. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. So if you missed upon that, go watch that video. So stay yourself. Stay three. Honey, whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.